This is going to be a video that's going to help explain the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now what I want you to notice here is parallel lines have the same slope. Let me show you what I mean. The slope is the ratio of rise to run. I've made a, I've made a slope triangle on both of my lines where the red part of the slope triangle is going to be my rise and the blue part of my slope triangle is going to be my run. Now my red, or my rise for this line, is going to be a positive 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going up 4, so my rise is going to be plus 4. My run is going to be to the right 3, or positive 3. So in this case, my run is positive 3. Let's look at the other line. This also has a rise of 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has a rise of positive 4, and a run of 1, 2, 3. So it has a run of positive 3. Now the slope for my bottom line is going to be the ratio of my rise to my run, which is 4 divided by 3. And the slope for my top line is also the ratio of rise to run, which is positive 4 divided by 3. Notice that both of these equations, or both of these lines, have a slope of 4 divided by 3. Let's look at perpendicular lines. And what I've written down here is perpendicular lines have slopes that are the opposite reciprocals of each other. Let's look at the line that's going down. Now this is going to have a negative slope because it's tilted downward. And I want you to notice again that my rise is represented by this red line. And in this case, my rise is going to be uh, negative 5 because I'm going down 5. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my run, which is represented by the blue line, is going to be positive 3. For this problem, my slope is going to be the ratio of my rise to my run, which is going to be equal to negative 5 divided by 3. Let's look at the other line. In this problem, my other line has a rise of 1, 2, 3, so it has a rise of positive 3, and a run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it has a run of positive 5. Now, my slope for this problem is going to be, I think I have it over here, it's going to be 3 fifths. And let me bring that up so you can see it. So you can see it. It's going to have a rise of 3 and a run of 5, so my slope is 3 fifths. What I want you to notice about both of these lines is that the slope is our opposite reciprocals of each other. And what I mean by them, by that, is they have the opposite signs. This is positive and that's negative. And that the fractions or the ratios are reciprocals of each other. This is 3 fifths and that's 5 thirds. But it's also negative 5 thirds, so it's the opposite reciprocal of each other.